If you're using Betfair tomorrow, this is a different way for you to look at the Melbourne Cup meeting. Flemington's a great day's uh, racing and there's 10 races to get into and I'm going to work through them one at a time and I'm going to get a couple of bets at the end that will leave you with a good accumulator and a bit of fun for the day. So in the first race at Flemington, the third favourite, 17 units profit, always a good one to follow and the second favourite's another one that's in profit. So there's the two to start your day off, the third favourite and the second favourite. The second favourite will run a place as well, very very strong bet that one, second favourite runs a place. So you're playing in the order of the Betfair market, you're not just going with the numbers of the horses or anything like that. It's the second in the betting at the Betfair SP, so make sure you're concentrating and getting your bets on properly. Now, because where the money is, that's where you want to be. You want to understand how the money arrives in Betfair. Now into the second race at uh, Flemington, the favourite and the second favourite are usually always pretty profitable. They're pretty, no, no a lot of money in there. But it'll keep you ticking over and it'll give you a good interest and you'll get a run for your money. Alan, Mr. Allen and uh, Oliver will be your two jockeys that you'll play, be playing in that race. So that'll be a, a second race for you. Now, ninth in the betting is showing a good profit, 18 units profit. So you could, if you want a rough in there, round about ninth in the betting, uh, the Betfair SP, that's where you want to follow. Now, into the third race, the third favourite, good profit in the third favourite here. The favourite's just showing a slight profit, but nothing exciting. Uh, and the second place, you want to be playing here in the place market as well. Second favourite in the place market. So Jai McNeil, Reese McLeod and Blake McDougall will be your three jockeys you'll be aiming at here. And they'll keep you, they should give you a good run for the money because they'll be keen as mustard to get a, a good day at Flemington. Jumping over to the fourth race, third in the betting and seventh in the betting. So you're, again, you're away for the favourite here. So you're looking for a wee bit of money, which is great. Keep you going, keep you ticking over. And your jockeys here will be Damon Lane. Jai McNeil, Jared Fry, there's a name for you. And your seventh in the betting will probably be away doing it, uh, Luke Nolan and Jai Allen. So that'll be, they'll be keen, they'll be pushing. So third and seventh in the betting there for Betfair. Great way to play. Now we're into the fifth race. Uh, and we're looking at the favourite and the fourth favourite. So Blake McDougall will be fighting with Keaton McAvoy for favouritism. And Craig Williams and Damon Oliver will be your two guys that will be chasing for that fourth in the betting. So that's where your money will be and that's where you'll want to play in the fifth race. In the sixth race, you've got Jai Mack again, looking good here, favourite, showing a profit. And uh, again, fourth in the betting is going to be good. And it's Damon Oliver and Blake McDougall again is getting another ride in here. He's going to have a good day, I think, Blake McDougall. If he gets it right, he could get a winner in maybe a couple of places. So we're in the Melbourne Cup. Can't take anything away for incentivise. The, pro the, the way that's performed is absolutely superb. Coming in a race solid. But must drift at the off, very short, and the money of the Aussies and, and the money surely pushes out a wee bit in the bet, and I can't see it getting any shorter anyway. Uh, and Brett Pebble, big race for him, a big race for him for, with Peter Moody. So Brett Pebble, uh, big day out for him, but you can't you can't avoid Twilight Payment, Spanish Mission, Craig Williams, Andrew Balding, British again, Joseph O'Brien gets it right, very very good, good apprenticeship with his dad, but. Here we go. This is where the money is in the Melbourne Cup. There's seven places that I'll make you the money. Obviously, we've got to throw in Michelle Payne's glory winner at 100 to 1. But the, first, the favourite, third in the betting, fourth in the betting, sixth in the betting, ninth in the betting, eleventh, and of course, Michelle Payne in 23rd. So that's where you'd want to go. And then straight after the Melbourne Cup, you've got your nap of the meeting. Get on, Jai Mack. This is the race he's going to win. He's going to push promise of success, home and drive for John O'Shea. And that would probably be the nap of the meeting. So if you've done your brains, just get yourself sorted out on promise of success. You'll go a favourite in the race, eight race, eight race at Flemington. So we're nearly there, we're getting through them. We're on a race nine, and this, uh, anything will win this race. So you can just decide on what you want to do. Get your pin out for race nine at Flemington, because anything can win. But the favourite will place. So make sure you get that. That's your bet. The favourite will place in the ninth race, but anything can win. Get the pin out. And into the last race, this is where you, you could get to jail here because sixth in the betting is your most profitable position in the Betfair SP. So just work out your market, see where, see where the market's lying, and sixth and fourth and seventh your, your three money areas where the money is, and uh, that's where your money arrives in Betfair. Now, your bets for Flemington, dead simple. Flemington, the first race, get on the second favourite in the place market. Flemington, third race, second favourite in the place market. Flemington 8th race, the favourite to win, and Flemington in the 9th race, the favourite to place. So, if you do the first three, second favourite place, second favourite place, favourite to win, you've got 10 to 1 odds. 
And if you do them all, all four, you're going to get about 20 to 1 odds. That's your Flemington. Enjoy it. Try a different way to do it. Look at the market order in Betfair SP. The liquidity is there. You've had 10 years now of good liquidity in there to get a good example of how the Melbourne Cups run. And the meeting really has shown up. And I followed it last year and made an absolute mozza. So make sure you get concentrating and enjoy your day. The Melbourne Cup's a superb day and it beats or uh, rivals your top races in the UK. We'll speak to you soon.